this card was not leaked at all. He was not leaked. But I'm excited. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm excited. That's my boy. Yo, so EA, you you guys are you guys pulled the heartstrings a little bit. So you gave me Fabio Vieira, Vitinha, and Diogo Costa. Hmm. Interesting vibes that we have over here. Uh, guys, with Fabio Vieira, we're taking a look at a card who is five foot nine, high medium work rates, left footed, four star skills, they four star weak foot. Let's see how you're formatted in game. So he has long shot taker, playmaker, outside foot shot, swerve pass, flare passes. In game attributes. Um, okay, so the dribbling instead of that way. Interesting. Okay, so this is definitely a card that you do actually have to use mainly in the actual center mid position. But you could use him in different ways because he is formatted to be used in different ways, right? So if we take a look at this card in game, he could be switched to the right mid cam right wing positions. What I'm personally thinking of is, you know, if you were to give him like a hunter chemistry style and you were to use him as, you know, potentially the cam in your team, you could totally do that, right? Traits he has, okay, cool, cool. So yeah, you can actually make him a usable attacker on a hunter chemistry style playing in the main attacking positions, uh, but it would probably have to be mainly through the middle because of the way that the pace is set up on the card uh, at a high medium work rate. But I think the more obvious way that I see people using this card is probably gonna be on a shadow chemistry style to give him some defensive capabilities but he's going to be the attacking oriented left center mid in that 4-3-2-1 setup, right? That 4-3-2-1 setup uh, where it has like the get into the box, the cross instruction is probably going to be the way that a lot of people use this bad boy, right? Uh, base card stats for pace in a decent area as an explosive player. Shooting also going to be in a good area. Passing in a decent area. Dribbling we're going to have to experiment with because he's five foot nine with... A lean body type, okay. So that does match his uh, characteristics to real life. Um, on a shadow chemistry style, we will be boosting his defense to be pretty high. It would be nice to have higher interceptions, but like I said, if you're using him as the attacking oriented center mid, not necessarily a big deal there. And then he also has the 92 for stamina. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and complete this card and I'll show you guys how we line him up in game. Okay, guys, so we have a, a pretty good team for us to... Uh, try him out in. Like I said, I do feel like most people, if they are going to be using this card in their team, uh, they're probably going to be making him a player that is going to play on um, a shadow chemistry style or an anchor, just depending on the situation, because an anchor wouldn't be a horrible decision either, because you would make him a controlled player while giving him some extra physical capabilities. But for me personally, I think the shadow is going to make the most sense because you want to boost the pace uh, to be as high as possible, right? So um, I don't think I have a shadow right now. I probably have to go buy it. Let's go see. I do not I have a hunter. OK, so the way that we're going to be trying a melt is going to be like this, right? We're going to be using the four, two, three, one. Um, switch that there and then the instruction will only change. Oh, wait. Um, this is consistent, right? Yes. Okay. So if that's consistent, what we're going to do is we're going to switch that there and then we're going to switch. No, no, no. The instructions just have to change. So just do that. And you are the stay back and you are not the stay back. Okay, cool. So I'll pick up the shadow and we'll try them out. Okay. So let's go ahead and switch to the four, two, three, one, and we'll try it like that. Oh, unlucky. I feel like this card's going to be somewhat similar to like, um, like a Zinchenko, like an upgraded version of Zinchenko, if anything. Nice try, nice try. Ooh, nice try. That's a good strike. Those are the direct ones, though, so sometimes those will work, sometimes they won't. Oh, it's close there. Nice, nice try, nice try. Yeah, it does well to offer his support on the attack there. Doesn't have to commit forward because the other ones will. There it is. Good shot. And now Rashford. 
Yep, just gotta get the looped on it. I like SPCs like this, man. I don't know. They're like, they're they're cool in their in their own ways, right? They're cool in their own ways, especially if there's like a bunch of far that you can get. I'm gonna switch to the four two three one. I should have utilized that space in the middle when he made that run. That's a foul. Okay, he's trying to go for a... What was that, a Rabona shot or something? <laughs> oh, he got involved there, though. Unlucky. I'm going to try the power shot from a distance. Why not? Ooh. Okay, okay. Ooh, he switched to himself to the outside foot shot, eh? Very obvious that the trait is super nice on this card. Oh, I'll have to wait a little bit more there. Oh, that was a direct one, too. That's a loot. Oof. Uh, that was super lucky. Nice. Commits on the attack. Score another opportunity. So far, I've only gotten attacking plays with him because that's going to be the main way that you're going to use use this card, right? Like, he's going to defend for you sometimes, obviously, but the main stuff is always the um, the attacking things, right? Oh, man, I think I have my own player there. No crazy, like, interception there. That was a good pass with Fabio Vieira. Got the looped. Ooh. The L1 R1 lob's not too bad there because they were significantly nerfed, right? So. Ooh, more power behind it. Maybe on a green too. Oh, I almost created that space for myself. Unlucky. That's his track back there. Wasn't bad. Little interception there. Nice little switch upwards. It's a good finesse shot. A little challenge there. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh, too direct there. Oh, unlucky. He got the reach there, there. He he got the reach there, though. Wow. Go back. There you go. Going with the weak foot. And we got the deflection. Nice pass by Fabio Vieira. Good reach. Good reach. Makes his way in field. Oh, if that's a green, that's a goal. No! Oh, too much. It's raising too much. So you're noticing, right? I'm not getting a lot of defensive plays with, it, with him. I'm getting some defensive plays with him. So what could be very ideal, like the main, main, main way I see this card being used is honestly on a Hunter chemistry style. Switching between a 4-3-2-1, even a 4-2-3-1, where you start playing him in the left-sided areas, right? So even the left attacking mid would be fine. The problem is the pace part with the way that it's formatted. That was a crazy pass by Fabio Vieira. 
So the, it's this pace part, right? So obviously we're up against Holland, who is crazy at the pace part. We're gonna let him score the kickoff, no big deal there, but you do have to work with that, obviously. Good animation. It's just too far, though. Also would have to increase shooting stats quite significantly for that to really work. Also in the pass there. Oh, good effort. Good sharp dribble. Oh, it took him a while. To like really time that shot there from the animation choice. So the pace part, you can see, right? The sprint speed, it, it's not like crazy fast. Try to use manual goalkeeping there. It's not like crazy fast. So that's where you really have to use them as like the attacking oriented center mid, right? To get into the box guy, you don't, you don't worry too much about that stuff. You let his AI go into that left mid area. Nice. I'm gonna force this here actually. Wait for that track back by him. Nice. Your first time touch. I gave it a shot. Oh, what's happening? Go back. Oh. Might, might be good, to be honest. It's too far. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Fabio Vieta card. So, guys, in regards to how this card performs in-game, right? You could either give him the Shadow or the Hunter chemistry style, depending on how you want to fully utilize this card. So... Let's say, for instance, you're playing with a three midfield setup, but he's playing as like a really basic center mid uh, playing in a 4-3-2-1 where he's still on the cover center instruction. If you have that cover center instruction, it could be ideal to just keep him on the shadow chemistry style uh, because of the way that he would play, generally speaking, on that stay back while attacking instruction because you obviously notice the sprint speed not being super helpful in certain situations, especially since pace is a hugely relevant thing in this game, right? So on the stay back while attacking, not as bad to work with. Um, you definitely notice that he has some defensive capabilities, but not a lot of defensive capabilities because the card is not really formatted to be that type of player. In my opinion, the way that he is formatted in this game is to be used, um, you know, mostly on like a hunter chemistry style as the attacking oriented left center mid. Uh, so let me see if I actually have that tactic here to show you guys an example, right? So let's say, for instance, you're playing this 4-3-2-1, right? And in your 4-3-2-1, you have these instructions for your left center mid, right? You can see that I currently have uh, Lionel Messi in that position. Again, Fabio Vieta, if he's on the shadow chemistry style on the stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box with a cross, cover center, that's perfectly fine to work with on that stay back for a shadow, right? But if he's playing in that left center mid area, you see how he has that cover wing instruction? AI wise, it'll push him into that area while being a left footed player, which would be really helpful because, you know, you would probably just give him the hunter chemistry style because the fact that you even have some defensive capabilities to work with in that area is is pretty cool right the, like the, the fact that he can make a, a you know a standing tackle he has a little bit of defensive awareness that's more of a plus because you're going to be using him like this right the guy that when he pushes forward he essentially acts like a cam slash a center mid and then when he pushes back in the defense his ai will be pushed into that left mid position so that in my opinion is the main way that i see it being used now generally speaking i do think that the sbc is uh up there in price i do feel like it's overpriced a little bit in regards to how he performs in game but it could be a very similar uh, similar situation uh to some of you guys unlocking like the zinchenko card right so if some of you guys still have this card uh for that time period uh this card made sense for different variables right so it's kind of like a an improved version of this Zenchenko card, right? Because he's got the four star, four star capabilities. He's the high medium work rate card. That's the way that you would use him specifically, right? So uh, it's more for the people that are building, uh, you know, those arsenal types of teams. I, here's why I like this SBC, right? Not necessarily for the price, but for the concept of it, right? I like 
that Jorginho still exists. And I like that they put a card like Fabio Vieira, who should be a future stars, to give you that link to someone like Jorginho. And there's so many different Arsenal cards that have been coming out recently. You know, Martin Odegaard is a card. There's a bunch of Arsenal attackers in the game nowadays. These types of cards are really cool to get. Like I said, I feel like they pulled the heartstrings a little bit because the price is a little bit up there in regards to in-game quality. But it's a card that can now be used in the meta of the game and still do a pretty decent job. That's the type of SPC that it is, right? So it's kind of similar to me reviewing Jorginho, right? Like Jorginho is a card that, you know, it, it strays away from the meta a little bit because, you know, the players like Paling and all those types of guys, they're really, really sick. But just because it strays away from the meta of the game does not mean that they can't play in it. You guys get what I'm saying? So it's like Fabio Vieira. They have improved him to the point of being usable in the game in those specific situations. Again, like I said, in that left center mid area for the get into the box, it would be perfect for him. It's the same way as me using like the Fakir card during the review, right? That's the way that I would personally uh, use this card, right? So... Uh, what I do him myself, yeah, he's Portuguese, so I got to do him, right? But it's not like a level of uh, Renato Sanchez or something like that. Like a rare gold Renato Sanchez, a dev from Brie. That guy is just crazy, you know? Uh, he's got the FIFA trait. But um, yeah, the, the concept of the SPC, I still like it because of the Arsenal links and the Portuguese links you can work with in the future as well. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.